government rest stop and we've been to Sanchi, Bimbetka, <laughs> not there, Kajraho, right now to Mandu, Mandu, and that's where we are even staying tonight. It's run by the government. No. To Pench, but we did see tigers in Kanha, and we're going to Maheshwar in two days. This stop is called Dodi, and as I said, it's run by the government, and all the prices are regulated for whatever you buy. Cadbury's, Snickers. This is where we're going today. Mandi, then Maheshwar, and then we fly from Indore to Jaipur. Oh, that's what we just saw. The gate at, San at Sanchi yesterday. Havgar, been there, saw a, a, human, a really big amount of tigers there. Bhopal, yes, we just came from there. Pachmari, no. Orcha, yes. These are all of the state highlights in Madhya Pradesh. We've got a migration, a nomad migration across the highway there. See the, can you see that one? The dog is on top with the kids. know what you're gonna see in India ever 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 there are their sheep back there or you come here during the winter time then they go back to Rajasthan in a couple months they're all out there with their sheep but they're not loaded at all that's right smack that camel get it out of the way Our fort is 45 minutes from Mandu, and it was built in 1344. It stands on top of a small hill, and its architecture is a combination of Hindu, Mughal, and Afghan style. This is also important for the Indian revolt in 1857. Afghan, Mughal, and Hindu architecture. In the temple, you will find the statue of Lord Ganesha. Because there of the prosperity. He, there. there is a temple. Nice elephant gate too. At least four or five gates that you had to pass through to get into the fort. Because this is the third elephant gate that I've seen. Look at the size of this place. The police occupy the fort now. So the wall surrounding the fort is two kilometers. Musk melon, it looks like a, See the dome? Mm -hmm. The design of the musk melon. But there was a palace? Palace of the Malhar Rao, who built this palace for his wife. Was a Hindu temple down there? Hold there. Hold. It's left from the Hindu temple. And I also hear the call to prayer. It's very possibly the first time these children have ever seen Westerners in their entire life. That's view of Dar Town right below us and flat open plains. Certainly looks like he built his fort on the only promontory that I can see. Karbuja Mahal is a historic mini palace situated inside Dar Fort. It's dated to the 16th century in the Mughal period and used by the Mughal kings. We can't go inside, but there are supposed to be decorated walls inside. Constructed on the left side of the fort, touching the fortification wall. And the double-story building contains seven rooms in the lower floor and four rooms in the upper floor. Nice, derelict old fort. One of the very many in India. Any bricks in the line that they used to to build the fort with. 
the horse stables were down there. We're trying to back out of the market. Very old, very old banyan tree. Easily, easily more than a hundred. I'd say more than that. Nice bags for grain and everything else. Beautiful and 12th century cenotaphs.